Hello everyone. So today we will be learning about a docking tool that is called as your Pyrex. So there are plethora of tools via which you can pursue docking. So one of those is your Pyrex. So it is from Autodoc suit. So from Autodoc suit you can find multiple uh, tools like your Autodoc Vena is there, Autodoc 4 is there, then you have Pyrex. So Pyrex is enabled by your uh, uh the use of python so it is automated so you just here you just have to select your ligand and protein and then the docking you can do easily okay here you don't have to run any command or anything or coding command anything you don't have to give okay so without further ado let's get started so we will be starting with your uh like let's get started fresh so we can start with go to your regular browser okay go to your search engine and search for initially pyrex okay pyrex will type in over here okay so this is the site okay so you can hit on choose okay so once you choose this you will be hitting on the download and it will be uh, it will start downloading okay i have already downloaded it okay so nothing fancy you just hit on the download it will be downloaded uh, icon will pop up over here you uh, like let me show you if you hit on the download see the download will be starting shortly so once that time download is completed okay so uh, in this icon i already have it downloaded so you will uh, once the download is completed you will double click on this on the exe file and then you will move forward with next next and then install okay very simple okay so i'm not showing you the way how to download it because uh, that is very basic okay so today we'll be learning about how to do the things in pyrex how to get a docking done okay so once the download is completed okay post that you will be searching for your protein and ligand okay so for searching for your protein you might utilize uh pdb or uniprot okay so i am searching using pdb okay so you can also search using a like a uniprot and download that particular structure and it is advised that when you are whenever you are downloading the structure from pdb or uniprot or from any of the structural uh, like uh, web servers you must clean your protein first okay because it will be having multiple heteroatoms that you want to clean your protein okay so that uh, during the course of docking so there is uh, nothing else that in that is influencing the docking okay so we want our raw protein okay and the like uh, whatever ligand we are selecting to dock it against okay so we'll be selecting uh, sars-cov-2 for example sake i'm taking sars-cov-2 main protease that is your 3cl pro also called as your m pro or main protease or drp okay so here you can see go to the structure and see about it okay and but uh, we are interested in downloading the file okay so we will download hit on the pdb format and download the particular file okay so it is downloaded already okay so now we'll be going uh, to the pubchem looking for the ligand okay so you can go to pubchem zinc or drug bank okay whatever is suitable to you okay let's go to pubchem so in the pubchem hit on the pubchem and once you go inside it so i already have a ligand in mind that is your uh, that is a uh, natural phytochemical from the plant tinospora cordifolia called as your cordifoliocyte cordifoliocyte a so we can go to cordifoliocyte a yes so we will go inside this uh, so this is a, a ligand uh, cordifoliocyte a so we will be going to the download so uh, to the 3d confo structure so we'll uh, so it is for, like uh, it is a preference that you want to take ball and stick or like a stick so the representation so you can go to the hit uh, like download coordinates and hit on the sdf format okay hit on save so it will be saved over here okay so everything is saved in our download section and the pyrex is already downloaded over here okay so we will get started with it uh, so let's look at the downloads first and we can also rename them okay so we'll hit on the download go to the download so here you can see 
okay uh, sorry for this yeah just wait yeah so we can change uh, the name of it okay so we don't want to see it instead we can like rename it just wait for a second yeah uh, so we can keep the protein name as it is but uh, let's uh, instead of this much longer name we can give the name as ligand okay for the ease of understanding hit on enter and so now we are good to go okay so uh, so our files are ready so let's uh, get to so pyrex uh, desktop icon will be there uh, so once you have downloaded it okay so uh, we'll double click on that and so this is the ui okay of pyrex so very simple uh, okay so we will uh, hit on load molecule okay so go to download wherever our, wherever we have saved your protein okay our protein basically so we will select this one open it okay so this is you can maneuver this uh, in order to observe it okay so here you can see so ideally you should clean your protein but uh, for the sake of uh, just the demonstration part i have not cleaned the protein i have taken it as it is from the pdb okay because for cleaning so you might utilize uh, any of the visualization tools like pyrex uh, like uh, sorry pymol your resmol chimera anything okay anything will do so we will uh, select this one and go to autodoc and make it a macro molecule okay because this is a macro molecule so now it is adjusted for the charges and everything okay by the uh, by the ui okay by this particular tool so after that we will go to open babel okay and select our ligand why is it so because we need to change the format okay and for changing the format open babel is most widely used so we will select the ligand in the sdf format open it okay so here you can see this is our ligand so we'll select it okay and what we will do we will minimize the energy so energy minimization step is very much required okay so yeah so minimize selected we will do so uh, basically so this is the default parameter okay so you can change the parameter accordingly force field if you want to change uh, so otherwise for the like uh, practicing you can keep it as your uh, default parameters only so these are the default parameters but uh, based on everything you should ideally change the force field okay so let's hit on this okay so it will be minimized okay so once uh once that particular thing is minimized so next what we will be doing is we will hit on convert to it convert it to autodoc autodoc format autodoc format is what pdb qt okay so once that is done so it will be converted to pdb qt format okay so here you can see so our ligand is already converted so we have written two times so that is why it is converted twice okay no issues we'll be selecting so we'll uh, next step is we will go to vena wizard okay here you have to select your so you have to like hit on get started okay so you have to just wait for a second yeah so we have to get started so after getting started see it is saying that select one ligand and one uh protein so we have already selected this is our protein molecule this is our ligand molecule okay so it is saying that one ligand is selected and this is the our protein okay so we'll be moving forward with this okay now here comes a grid box okay so this particular grid box if you understand about uh, docking so you will be understanding that what it is all about okay so this is the 3d space thing so whenever we are doing a blind docking it is advised that you cover the whole protein and ligand complex inside the box okay and if you are not doing a blind docking so then you can change it okay so like then you can be specific or site specific you if you are going okay so then you can uh, do it otherwise it is advised that if you are doing a blind docking you should ideally cover it okay and you have to like uh, rotate the whole thing so that to know that it is see in the sites it is not covered okay so as it is a 3d thing you have to 
रोटेट द होल थिंग एंड कवर द होल प्रोटीन ओके सो नाउ यू कैन क्लिक ओवर हेयर एंड मन ओवर इट सो होल द होल प्रोटीन इज कवर्ड इन साइड द बॉक्स ओके सो दैट इज वट वाई वो वॉन्ट इट ओके so let's uh, get it a bit shorter because otherwise it will take much of our time okay and but still it is inside the box only okay so we will hit on the forward okay so now the docking has started so this is the this is the particular you uh, particular thing that you will also see when you are utilizing either vena or autodoc4 but there you have to put some commands okay and here as it is uh, having a python running in the background so here you just have to select your protein and ligand else everything will be taken care of by the uh, by the algorithm okay what uh, your python uses okay to run this particular tool okay so let's just wait for the moment so so this is the percentage of work that is in progress so you can see from zero it is uh, like 20% of the work is done after that once it is getting into uh, to the 100% mark then we will be having the result over here okay so i will show you uh, when the result is over here then you can go to your files and uh, so every time whenever you are doing a docking or a simulation you will be having a configuration file okay config file so in that config file all the configurations will be their configuration means all the progress every step it is the configuration file is always updating okay so it is dynamic in nature always whatever is happening in your docking exercise or simulation exercise it is constantly updating so this is your that is your configuration file so whenever we are getting the results to in order to save the results obviously you can also go to the edit section okay and uh, when you go to the edit section you will be having the particular path so if you want to save specifically to a particular path so you can select that particular path also okay so so that that is all basically so and if you have any questions apart from this you can ask in the comment section okay uh, or else you can reach out to us at uh, like biotechnica.org ch at the rate biotechnica.org for any other kind of query if you want to learn everything into depth if you want to learn about drug discovery and elsewhere because this is just one step in the drug discovery the whole drug discovery pipeline is much much bigger and uh, much much stringent also okay so this is one part of it uh, one of the tools that is being used for your computer aided drug designing but this is not the sole thing okay this is not the only thing basically okay so that is all so it is almost 90% uh, like hitting the 90% mark so we will just wait for two more minutes and then our docking will be done and we'll be having the results over here and in the medical conversation higher because so that is better doctors are better affinity scores that is minus 7 is better affinity scores than higher 6 affinity score than your minus uh, like uh, minus 6 okay so so we have to see here you can see anything above minus 6 kilocal per mole is considered very good okay so anything above minus 5 will also be considered good decent but anything above minus 6 is very good so here you can see it is a very good doc score okay so it will give you all uh, for different poses it will give you okay and we will see the first one that is your rmsd0 and rm uh, like rmsd0 means it is more stable okay so in the more stable configuration obviously we will be having the highest binding affinity that is here uh, you can see minus 6.5 that is very good affinity okay so that is all for today's demonstration see you in the next one thank you and if you have any questions so, so you can write down in the comments down below Okay thank you very much